Ashley Wonderball. You can find the new surprises inside a Wonder Ball. Whoa, it's Pokemon. Gotta catch them all. Oh, I wonder, wonder, my do I do? What's in a Wonder Ball? Nestle chocolate with big surprises. I got two candy and a cool hologram. I got candies that change color. It's always a surprise. Nestle Wonder Ball. It's candy and chocolate and a prize in a box. What's in your Wonder Ball? What the hell is in the Wonder Ball? Is it meth? Is it cocaine? No, it's just shitty candy. But not only was there candy inside, but each one came with an awesome prize as well. But which prize would you get? It's the kind of shit that just uh, makes you wonder. The Pokemon Wonder Ball promotion included stickers, holograms, and all kinds of other awesome things. Growing up, this Wonder Ball commercial played all the time. And I swear, the theme song became embedded into my mind. I remember being so excited to get the candy and everything, but then the candy just didn't taste great. And I'd rather have like Skittles or something. But I would still want the Wonder Ball because I wanted the Pokemon prizes that came inside. I wanted to collect all of the Pokemon prizes. Even though they may have been just stickers and holograms, it just made you want to buy a Wonder Ball. I mean, I had to have that sticker of that Squirtle. Because I needed it to stick on my Pokemon trading card binder, duh. Now, I know how much you like Pokemon, so I've made you a special breakfast. Look! It's Pikachu! Pika Pika! Looking for a real Pokemon breakfast? You can grab Kellogg's Pokemon cereal with Pikachu, Oddish, Poliwhirl and Ditto. It's crunchy, it's tasty. Pokemon cereal. This was the cereal that every kid wanted in the 90s. It was like having Pokemon and Lucky Charms put together in one. But hold up! Why do the Pokemon look so happy on this box? It's like they're happy that they're about to become someone's breakfast. They're like, oh, it looks delicious. Eat this now. Pikachu, you spoon it. <laughs> Eat that cereal, motherfucker. Oddish just looks stoned as hell, as usual. I mean, maybe the cereal would be good if you were really stoned. Maybe that's what they were trying to say. Of course, this was a limited time offer. So unfortunately, the Pokemon cereal wasn't around for very long. When the second generation of Pokemon was released, new Pokemon food promotions for that generation came out as well. And a Pokemon cereal for the second generation was made. I don't remember seeing this Pokemon cereal in stores around my area, so I can't really say whether I thought it tasted good or not. So if any of you guys grew up eating this cereal, be sure and let me know how it was. Was it good? Was it bad? Did it give you the shits? Let me know. And by sending in two tokens, you could win one of 1,000 Pokemon Battletop Stadium game kits. But it's only for a limited time and only from Kellogg's. These always reminded me of the Burger King Kids Mill toys. Yeah, the ones that would spin for like five seconds and then fall down because they weighed too much. There were eight Pokemon Battle Tops to collect in all. Why is Poliwag making this weird face? He looks like he's about to take a poly shit. There were different cereal boxes that had different Pokemon Battle Tops inside. Like in some boxes, you can only find a Pikachu or a Gengar Battle Top. And for collectors, this was extremely annoying. It meant that you would have to keep buying the freaking cereal over and over again until you got the one that you wanted. And a lot of the times they'd be sold out because of everyone else trying to buy them as well. But I didn't care if I had to snap, crackle, and pop every bitch in there, I was getting my cereal. Either that, or you'd have to hope to find someone else that was collecting them in order to trade them for one that you actually needed. But unfortunately for me, I didn't have someone else to trade, so I just had to keep buying boxes and boxes of cereal. Because, you know, you gotta master them all. Sending Lunchables Pizza. Three real crusts with all the toppings. Fun to make and eat. No need to heat. Pizza? Thanks, Mom. Lunchables brand pizza from Oscar Mayer. Lunch will never be the same. Now you can win Sega prizes like Vector Man for Genesis. Many will enter. You will win. Details on specially marked Oscar Mayer packs. Freaking Lunchables. I used to have them all the time at school whenever I packed my lunch. And I would always get the pizza Lunchables. But looking back now, it was basically eating uncooked pizza, which is kind of gross thinking about it now. But back then I really enjoyed it and continued eating them. 
Why? Well, one of the main reasons being, it had Pokemon on it. They had these awesome Pokemon trading cards on the back that you could cut out, and each one had these cool little tips on the back of them. And even though they weren't real trading cards, they were still fun to have. There were also these awesome contests that were on the back of some of the Lunchables, where you could win different Nintendo-themed prizes. For a Pokemon Party-thon! Holy shit! Why didn't I ever win this? Overall, the Pokemon Lunchable promotions were freaking awesome. It got me through many days at lunch, and gave lots of great memories to look back on. It's Kraft Pokemon Macaroni and Cheese! Rex is searching high and lowly. Horses, cheese, and cocoon and cheese. Have a nice afternoon, Yoni! Crap, macaroni and cheese. Six boxes, each with six of your favorite Pokemon shapes. Pikachu, Meowth, Poliwhirl, Jigglypuff, Squirtle, and Charmander. I got it, Yoni! It's the P.E.T.V. Macaroni with Crap Pokemon. Ah, oh, yes. Pokemon Macaroni and Cheese. Collect all six boxes, eat a shit ton of macaroni and cheese, and be constipated for weeks. I mean, Jigglypuff looks like she's constipated already. The shit tastes puffy. And why is Poliwhirl happy on some of the boxes, and pissed off on some of the other boxes? I remember growing up eating this macaroni and cheese all the time. For some reason, I remember it just tasted better than the normal macaroni and cheese. Eventually, I remember we did end up collecting all the boxes. But, of course, we ended up eating them all. And even though the commercial may have been a little cheesy, it still brings back a lot of memories to this day. There's a bowl of fun inside every can of Heinz Pokemon pasta. It's your favorite Pokemon characters as fun-shaped noodles and a yummy Heinz tomato sauce. New Heinz Pokemon pasta. Can you catch them all? Can you eat them all? If you thought it was weird that Pokemon pasta existed, the commercial for the Pokemon pasta was even weirder. It starts off with these Pokemon running for their lives. This shit is scary! I mean, Clefairy looks like she just shit out of brick. Did this little kid really decide to go on a Pokemon murder rampage all because he's hungry? I mean, just look at this kid, he looks so happy and chewing those poor Pokemon to death. Oh, and the best part of this commercial, catch them all or eat them all. Needless to say, it was a weird Pokemon commercial for a pretty weird Pokemon food promotion. But it's not one that I'll be forgetting anytime soon, especially in my nightmares. Pancakes, part of this good breakfast. So many flavors, so little time. And look out for limited edition Pokemon Eggo Waffles. You can catch them all. Up next, we have Pokemon Waffles. These came out around the time that Pokemon Gold and Silver were released, featuring several of the new Pokemon from the second generation. That's right, you can eat the hell out of Togepi's face. How is this Gengar on a waffle anyway? Does that mean that we have a ghost waffle? We got a fucking haunted waffle. As a kid, I remember growing up eating these every morning before school. Except the toaster that we had back then usually burnt most of our waffles. Overall, I thought that the Pokemon waffles were actually a pretty cool idea. And there's even Pokeball waffle makers out there now where you can actually make your own Pokeball shaped waffles. So if you happen to be a huge Pokemon fan like me, and a huge waffle fan at the same time. Waking up to a Pokemon themed breakfast sounds like a pretty nice idea. Follow me on Twitter at a brand in the past for more updates and funny Pokemon stuff. Feel free to donate to me on Patreon. The link for that will be in the description box below.